Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to Castle Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Gross Osterreich Reich Lover. In which we are, as you can tell, well, we're going to war with Russia now. Also known as the Entente. We'll see what happens. We'll do the best we can. I'm, I don't know if I really will invade Canada. I'm not really too interested in that. And the American Civil War is still fought, uh, being waged in 42. It looks like MacArthur might actually win, maybe. But we have some comments to go go through, got some folks to go through, and have a good time overall. But let's do a couple of these. Actually, I already read both of these last time, so if you want to read about Ports of History again, please go ahead. Some comments included. We should play as the SRI, the Socialist Republic of Italy sometime. Actually, there's quite a few comments saying I should. Yeah, eventually we will. I'm not sure when, just because of the time it's recording, the new DLC is going to come out very soon, so I'm not sure exactly when we will do that, but I promise you we will do the SRI sometime, because I don't think I've played as them yet on the channel, so. Oh, and look at Sweden. Goodbye, Sweden. Thank you for playing. Another comment was for me to play as... Uh, Kaiserreich. Jacobin. Commune of France. Yeah, sure, why not? Sometime. Sure, why not? Oh, oh combo sailing is very good, too. Uh, I think that, so, yeah. That sounds like fun as well. Just not sure when. Like I said, we got things coming out. I'm, I'm extraordinarily busy right now. So, we shall see. We shall absolutely see eventually. Uh, what's the Federation? Whatever. Can't go to war with these guys. Can't go to war with these guys. It's kind of dumb. Kind of real dumb, but whatever. Yeah, we'll try to invade the UK at least, so. There's some naval bombers up here too, which is pretty nice. <coughs> Excuse me, and I already did set up a lot, a lot of bombers here too, so. Naval bombers, eh, I get 200 more. Why not? You could always use more naval bombers, right? That's right. Especially once we're fighting the Russians here. I don't know how far or fast we could push in, but... They have a million, about a million manpower-ish, 1.02. Oh, division-wise, they have 125, which is nice that we can see exactly what they have. Some artillery, a lot of artillery, actually. Quite a bit of artillery. Oh, oh no, and uh, some guns, but I already figured that these guys would attack us eventually. Uh, for you guys, head on in. Capitulate these guys fast, and then you can go in here, too. So, voting for this is good. Good, good. Yes, Philippines and Korea. Thank you very much. They left Sofia completely open. Dominion of Alaska. Oh, we need to get Alaska back, too. Oh, nice. Ah, the Canadians are here. The fall of Kiev. Oh, I thought... Well, oh, these guys appreciate a lot faster than I thought they would. All right, well, let's see. Otto. You guys come over here. Oh, Russian ships. Nice, keep seeking everything they got. Because we might want to actually try to naval invade very soon, actually. Um, go three, man. Supply is so simple. Let's see, go here. Portsmouth. I don't remember what our naval invasion capacity is like. Let's do 10 for now. Bruges. Huh. Good job, guys. Good job. Beautiful. Albania's gone as well. You guys are great. I'm going to keep you guys maybe down here near Italy just because you never know if people want to invade. I'm going to keep you guys down. Actually, just stay around here too. That's fine. I was trying to get the Russians going. Russia! French state. Oh, fine, the French state too. Uh, 134 divisions, not bad. 30,000 losses. How many losses have we taken? 45,000? That's not bad at all. What are we building up? Some more. A lot of radar. Makes sense. Oh, look at all. So we can find things and sink them faster. Nice. It is, of course, 42. Uh, uh, naval doctrine would be bad still. Oopsie. Uh, how about air doctrine? Yeah, definitely do some more air doctrine stuff. Convoys and such. Yeah, no, I just want to take out uh, these guys. That's all I pretty much care about. The tanks are rolling in too, which is very really nice. Very nice, guys. Good job. Of course, the Navy is in the Mediterranean, which sucks, but whatever. Who owns the Med? Oh, we could probably just get out of there then. 63 divisions is not, our ships are not bad, but still. Ooh. Halil is gone, alright. Is that convoys? Let your poles. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of let ship poles. Which is fine, but still. <clears throat> still. Now we're getting a lot more red here, which is not ideal. 
quite a few planes up here. You'll somewhat have air superiority. Of course, we are fighting over a river, which does suck as well, but, you know, whatever. Um, actually, for spies, Port of History is not bad. Come up here. Come up here. And the Kataro A base, yes. Followed up with what? <clears throat> the KUK Technician Milita Milita Committee. Imperial Royal Technical Military Committee, or TMK, with its origins dating back it's from 1717, is an institution for the, uh, of the KUK War Ministry tasked with observing, observation, development, and application of military technology. The role of modernizing our armies is absolutely essential. Ensuring that the monarchy does not fall behind in terms of technological developments and that our troops remain real quick. Also, as a comment saying, why do we have Gross Osterreich? Aisha's Reich. Why is there a second Reich there? Because we can have it. That's why. Because it makes us feel better about ourselves. Because we have double the Reich, we double the power. I don't know, something, something like that. What do we want to make here? We're maxed max it out on these. Get some more of that, I guess. I don't know. Light tanks, medium tanks, infantry equipment. They have a lot. Artillery, they've got a ton as well. It's still generally green, but Uruguay's been annexed. Nice. There's no fortresses up there, I think so. Nice. Keep thinking whatever they got. I'll take you guys. Oh, second carrier, nice. <clears throat> Head on up. Iraq is gone. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, again, also restore the Holy Roman Empire. Well, now we're the Holy Roman Empire. Nice. Very nice. Hopefully got a few more cores as well. We got eight, eight, over 8 million vampires, so I'm not really too concerned about vampire right now. Uh, does anyone have upgrades? No, no, no. No, okay. No. Oh, mouse kill, that sucks. <clears throat> Alright, so let's get some more radar around here. We're starting running out of radar. We get some more air bases and such. Alright, let's just do. Hang out, relax first. Let the tanks up and motorize up here. Just like squish them as best as possible. Oh, there goes Carlos Spain. Nice. You guys keep doing what you're doing. Oh, look at that. Oh, boy. Oh, nice. Nice. And we'll do some rifle trials. While the TMK was able to keep the Empire from falling too far behind despite limited resources, the War Ministry has yet to adopt a self-loading rifle for forces. The committee wishes to rectify this and the Empire's numerous arms companies eat which are eager to compete for the government contracts. In order to ensure that the best rifles adopted, the TMK is organizing new rifle trials. Nice. Yeah, we definitely want that one. Good. Oh, 940 ships. Yeah, we could have got those, but whatever. Can we successfully naval invade? Well, we could try it. Oh, there goes Rhodesia. Doing the Rhodesian thing. Oh, man, we are trying to blitz here fast, aren't we? Do we win yet? <laughs> Let's take a look. No. Just simple convoys here and there. Well, we did invade. That's actually really good. Nice. Very nice. And, uh, can we take London? Maybe? Maybe not. I knew we, we get invaded eventually, but... Oh, Greenland. Oh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not too concerned about invading these guys, yeah. We're probably not going to do that, but we'll see. Oh, now they're attacking us here, too, huh? I mean, it's February. It's pretty cold. Can we do anything here? Oh, it's definitely a mixed bag. Oh, that's not good. <clears throat> well, that's the case. You guys come back down over here.
Yeah, you guys keep doing what you can do. Air production, though. They lost quite a few men. But we did have a successful invasion of the UK. Time of research is nice, 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 nice. So, of course, it's 43, so let's get some more construction speed. We are slowly running out of fuel. This is a little worrying, but I'm glad we were sending the other armies over here, too. Yeah, losses? 600,000, huh? <clears throat> Established by the British Army for their operations in the Middle East and Gallipoli during the Valkyrie, the hospital of Port Said has been developed into a key medical station on the route connecting east to west. The international state of the institution, protected by the Red Cross, has ensured great advancements in medical sciences and serves as a place for soldiers and civilians of all nations fighting the greater Middle Eastern region to receive best treatment. Nice! Alright, so that's good that we actually got through this part here, too. How many divisions do they have still? 165? It's not bad. So we need more air here. And we have plenty of planes. We need more fuel, though. It'll be a little bit of an issue. It's alright, though. There you go. Nice. Uh, let's see. The Hungarian mathematician Zoltan Lajos Bay's work on raiders has caught the attention of the TMK and the Fliegen Corps, eager to put the inv invention into practice in order to improve the Empire's defenses against threats from the skies. Experiments on the Funk Gesutze. Flugzeugortung. Radio based aircraft locators proving fruitful and the monarchy should have a working radar soon. What do you, wait, what? We already do. Huh. We already do. What you mean? Oh, wow. So I'm going to blow up our ships. I don't really care. Nice. You guys are doing really great up here. Get him extra reinforcements, force the attack. Oh, we got we got equipment that lasts for years. These guys as well, but not nearly as much as we do. They better flee. Yeah, I hate fighting the Entente. Like, they just have so much equipment. It's ridiculous. It's not very much fun either. Uh, planes are fine. I think for cast we need more. There you go. Not bad. We spot promoted. Good. Very good. And. Halfway there. All right, and uh, let's see. Belfast, Dublin. Um, planes and. Work maybe? We'll try that. Take Helsinki. We're taking a lot of losses. All the Russians have not lost any more men. That makes literally no sense. 
Look at all the green hair. I mean, we have a lot more air than I thought we actually did, but still. Come on, tankaroons. Nice. We good to go yet? Not yet. A couple more days, still needed. We get over here, cut them off. That'd be good. That'd be very good. Raffle trials. Followed up with artillery modernization. While companies like Skoda and Bola have been able to keep up with artillery development throughout the world thanks to foreign contracts, most of our artillery dates from the Valkyrie. With artillery being one of the most important pieces of military technology, the TM Key is eager to I'll replace uh, the military's aging guns with modern ones as we expand our arsenal. Pretty much, man, pretty much. Beat them over the head with a stick. They're losing manpower, but they're, they're going to raise more, anyways, eventually. Uh, artillery wise, they're still looking pretty good. They're looking really good on everything. Sucks. So we are running out of fuel. Can't buy any from Russia. We can buy some from Congo. And just in case, of course, we can always build more ourselves. So. Ah, now this is nice. This is what these stupid Russians deserve. And they'll force these guys to go through uh, the caucuses. Nice. Now that's good. So then, oh, well, look at that. Um, here you go. Hey, Petrograd is fun. Good. But about to link up with the tanks up north. That's very good, actually. If you find four, just bust through them. Nice. Three divisions. Good. <clears throat> As my voice starts, wants to start cracking. Beautiful. Good. Alright, so with that in mind, having these extra soldiers here will be very, very good. There you go. Give them a slight break and we'll get rolling once again. Screws and holes, thank you very much. Oh, of course they didn't make something anyway. Of course they would. Five, get some more extraction for more fuel. Yeah, bros, you made you made a huge mistake. Oh, oh. French Kingdom was annexed. Oh no, it was okay. For some reason, the Iranians was considered called the French Kingdom. I don't understand why they were, but they were for some reason. I forgot to show you that. Very weird. Hmm. We expand the Gebirgstruppe. The Gebirgstruppe, mountain troops, <clears throat> includes some of the monarchy's most decorated and respected units that repeatedly fought off Italian invasions. As they are essential to the empire's defense, and there are plenty of potential recruits in the Alpine and Carpathian regions, expanding and improving these units are a high priority. We need even more fuel. Thank you, Nigeria.
I mean, it's their death wish. Nice. We lost some subs, but I don't really care, especially when we have uh, naval bombers doing all sorts of things down here. What the hell are you doing? Oh, oh, you're actually going in. Okay, I'm like, what the heck? Well, we got Dublin. Oh, the Spanish War is over too, huh? Landing craft, nice. All right, we take out the Irish, and then we'll be we'll be really good. Or just all land here, so. I should get some better subs, but I don't think we have time for that, really. My airfield, nice. Get that one, too. Come on, guys, hurry up. Don't stop. You have literally no orders to stop. Oh, look at that. Nice. Thank you, naval bombers. How are we doing over here? Let's go in. We linked up with the tanks, which are just... They just keep going. It's awesome. Lost another sub, but whatever. Hey, we sing the pride of the fleet, though. Oh, boy. We lost 17, you know, naval bombers, but that's okay. Still okay with us? Well, everyone, it's now August 5th, 1943. We finished off the whole invasions happening towards the UK. We've taken out the... What? UK held Irish lands. And overall, not too bad. Pretty... Pretty standard. I mean, <laughs> pretty standard and tried true. We're doing infantry a panzer project, though. While the military already had numerous successful cavalry tank designs, infantry tank project has been thus far unable to provide results. This must be rectified as infantry support is prioritized in our new doctrine, and the project should be pushed further. The upcoming designs are becoming heavier and more expensive, but powerful and better protective. And then new UK, UK Army. The reform of our army has been long and an expensive process, but it's finally paid off. New tanks, gunships, planes rolling off assembly lines and into our army, waiting armies, reformed and ready for battle with the enemies of the Empire. And my god, is this an empire? Oh, this is a beautiful Holy Roman Empire. Is it, Ro is it Roman? A little Roman. Is it holy? Oh, you bet by god it is holy. And, uh, oh my goodness. I am e excited. Cool. Uh, we have, what? Oh, do we have enough space? Yeah, we do have enough space. Cool. And also, like, here are the casualties. I'm not sure where the div Russian divisions went, but we did kill about 5 million of them. We took about 2 million casualties ourselves. 1.7 to the Russians, and then everyone else just a little bit. But, <clears throat> you know... What is it? 1.7 to 5 million? I can get along with that. I can go with that. Let's get more fuel. We've been importing more stuff from Africa. And because now that we have a little land border with uh, the Ottomans, we can also import fuel from there too. And we also have the Baku. So, overall, feeling pretty good about it. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys again. Strategic destruction. Overall, not a bad campaign. Uh, like I said earlier, I don't really want to invade the, uh, Alaska. I don't really want to invade uh, Canada. That seems really boring. And I don't want to frustrate myself too much. But, hey, I mean, we could do it, but... Meh. Meh. But overall, not bad. This campaign has been a lot of fun. A lot of fun. As far as I remember. I could be wrong. I did say I want to take out the Ottomans, but... Eh. I've taken out most... Not all, but most of continental Europe. We could. We could do it very well. Oh, they have a lot of resistance. Yeah, yeah, we could do it very easily, but... Meh. Meh. But yeah, overall, not too bad. It sucks that the Ottomans is so big and powerful, but... We really slapped them down pretty hard. We slapped them down very hard. It's awesome. But we do have a little bit more uh, to take out. And we could go out of Alaska, but whatever. Uh, they are 78% of the way there towards capitulation, which is nice. Uh, let's continue this. Actually, we probably should have set up a collaboration with this government, but I kind of forgot about that, but kind of didn't forget about that. But then I eventually did forget about that. Um, but we can still do that. Excellent outlook. Very nice. Infiltration experts. Kyle Schneider. Uh, seducer. I love seducers. There you go. Good luck. Nice, nice, nice. And, yeah, as you can see, I don't know where the divisions really went. Um, yeah, we seriously put I mean, we did kill a lot of them off. It does help when you overrun them as well. So. Of course, supply is pretty bad up here. Ah, oh, Vyatka. I've heard of Vyatka before. 
Beer wise, we're not doing too bad. Just didn't cost so much. That's okay. Nice. This this is not too bad. I keep forgetting to get naval bombers. Because you guys have what on you? All the, oh no, we do have some naval bombers. We did probably just take out enemies. Yeah, we took out enemies. We never we never researched those things. Whoopsie. <laughs> we just capitulated people and took their naval bombers. Hey, it works. If it works, it works. You know. Um, honestly, I don't want you up north anymore. It's pretty flipping cold. So come down here, and be called down. The Colored Enfranchisement Act passes. Oh, this is South Africa. That was America. Yeah, America's just not having a good time in 43. This is one of the bloodiest civil wars ever. Like, what did it start? 37, 38? It's still going on for five years. The, America, the first American Civil War lasted only four years. God, Huey Long had such promise. Such promise. But it's alright. Things happen. Um, Fuel's looking slightly better. There you go. Nice. Military automobile vests in expansion. While the Austro Hungarian Empire were pioneers in adopting automobiles for the military, there was limited in number. The KUK military automobile vests, as a section of the TMT TMK, are responsible for the development and deployment of military vehicles. The importance of trucks is already clear to the general staff, and they have made the motorization of the army a priority. And tank trials. With the trauma of the Valkyrie so fresh for many tanks were eagerly embraced in the Austro-Hungarian military, as their use were proven during the war, with companies such as Skoda and CKD developing some of the most advanced tank designs in the world. As tank development rapidly advances, the TMK wants to hold trials for new tanks for different purposes. Absolutely. Uh, those guys all died. Literally all died, and that's why we have one Gearson still here too, so... And I, I didn't take these guys out yet, just because it's actually really good to keep them here. Just so that when they have to, like, refuel, rebase, and stuff like that, we can just start port strike them. Or just destroy a bunch of convoys that way. Is it mean? Is it evil? No, it's not evil. That's totally fair. Third game. Let's see what you can do about that. Up south. So now they're what percentage? Oh, they're very close. 94. That, like I said, all I want to do is kill them off. I just want to kill them off. Oh, wow. Holy Roman. Nice empire, bro. Nice empire. But cool. Not bad. Uh, MacArthur, you invaded Yucatan, huh? Oh, who are you? Radical Republicans, huh? Oh, poor Huey Long. John Vereker. Who the heck is John Vereker? That's some manpower. And by Albert of... I'm sorry. New England should never have a monarch. Disgusting. Disgusting. Yeah, uh, let's take a look at casualties. Let's see. We hit 6 million? No, we didn't. 3.53. That sucks. Oh, there goes the American Union State. Well, that sucks for you, bro. Hey, oh, that's really nice. Getting more fuel super important. Super important. Not bad. We killed a lot, a lot off from the French state. Hey, the Russian Republic's gone. Great. Well, awesome. Well, I think that's going to be it for me for this campaign. So there's that one, of course. And then we have, uh, oh, uh, is it Rocket and Flug Technique? Awesome. And then we also have, of course, invite others to join the Vienna Circle, which we never annexed German Bohemia, which is weird, but whatever. Uh, we electrify the Sudbahn, uh, Austrian civil economy, domestic, expand domestic farms. We have Alpine mines, as well as Austrian military economy, which are all good focuses. But, oh, but hey, if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know what your thoughts are, were on this campaign. And I'll see you in another campaign very soon. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great rest of your day.